On this episode of Beyond the Bean on Air, we recognize two decades of the soybean checkoff with a look at what has been accomplished, what still needs to be done, and words of congratulations and thank you to all U.S. soybean farmers. But first, let's see how your checkoff dollars have worked for you in 2011. Who's your biggest customer? It's not your local elevator or soybean processor. The soybean checkoff actually worked with an elevator to prove that point, the importance of knowing your soybean customers beyond the elevator. The United Soybean Board partnered with animal feed processor JBS United and Illinois pork producers to demonstrate the importance of animal agriculture. At a soy and grain trade summit this fall, the soybean checkoff reached out to more than 800 international agricultural commodity buyers and sellers. Topics discussed at the summit included continued demand for soy in China and a new federal law that attempts to modernize food safety efforts. The United Soybean Board had an opportunity to share a new study that showed how the expanded Panama Canal could alter who buys your soybeans in the future. United Soybean Board farmer leaders discussed checkoff accomplishments and the organization's new long-range plan at this year's National Association of Farm Broadcasting Annual Convention. Close to 150 of the nation's farm broadcasters and hundreds of U.S. ag industry representatives from around the country participated. 2011 marks the 20th anniversary of the start of the National Soybean Checkoff and formation of the United Soybean Board. Since 1991, U.S. soybean farmers' support has led to a long list of checkoff-powered accomplishments. Let's take a brief look at just a few. Statistics show the soybean checkoff has made significant progress in helping to expand markets for soy. A major checkoff investment helped turn China from a soy exporter into the biggest consumer of U.S. soy. Today, the United States ships more soy to China than to any other country. And in 2011, the soybean checkoff helped export 1.5 billion bushels of U.S. soybeans. In fact, U.S. soybeans have seen more than a 140% increase in demand, more than any other row crop produced by U.S. farmers. Back home, checkoff dollars have funded research to expand the uses of soybeans. This included a major role in building the biodiesel industry. Soy-based polyurethane foam serves as another new use for soy, developed in partnership with Ford. Ford's partnership with the United Soybean Board has been a really positive interaction and a real strong partnership. Um, once we demonstrated that you could incorporate soybean oil into foams and made some small block foams, we really at that time couldn't afford to scale up to get into a plant and to start doing experiments on real process equipment. And so the USB gave us that initial grant that allowed us to go into a plant with Lear Corporation and start molding seat cushions, which is... In, in the area of better U.S. soybeans and better yields, checkoff-funded research led to the mapping of the soybean genome. This should help accelerate the development of new U.S. soybean varieties. These varieties could provide better resistance to pests and diseases and improved yield. In fact, USB wants to increase the average yield to 59.5 bushels per acre by 2030. Checkoff funded efforts to increase yield, expand markets, and other accomplishments have helped provide profit opportunities for all U.S. soybean farmers. The United Soybean Board is required to do a return on investment study every five years. Uh, the last one we did was about three years ago. And from, uh, from that study, we saw that uh, soybean farmers had gotten about a 6.4 to 1 return on their investment over the, at that time, about 17 years of the checkoff. And that's a pretty good return on your investment. This is Rebecca Steven for Beyond the Bean On Air. Even while taking stock of accomplishments so far, the United Soybean Board has set some aggressive goals for its third decade. The United Soybean Board's new strategic plan recognizes some of the major challenges and opportunities U.S. soybean farmers will face. The soybean farmers on USB's 2011 Executive Committee ranked these as the most important. 
The top five include protectionism, market volatility, opposition to today's agriculture, global regulations, and new technology. The strategic objectives the organization developed as part of its plan can help accomplish its vision that U.S. soybeans will be the leader of the global oilseed industry. So we have divided the soybean into two components, the meal and the oil side, and working at enhancing the value from the farmers, through the processors, all the way to the customers. When making the long-range plan, leaders faced the reality that the world could require 50% more protein by the year 2030. The Soybean Checkoff wants to help lead the industry and help U.S. farmers respond with greater yields and continued high quality while also differentiating U.S. soy products and services in the global marketplace. And it's not just the demand and filling that demand, but it's filling it with a high quality product. And so we're putting a lot of research into that, research into making sure that not only raising the yield of soybeans, but raising the protein, the amino acid profile, making sure that we're getting the right product to our customers. USB's plan for the next five years also envisions helping to ensure farmers' freedom to operate, encouraging public and private investment in improving the U.S. transportation infrastructure, and protecting and supporting U.S. soy's biggest customer, animal agriculture. For Beyond the Bean on Air, I'm Mike Orso. The checkoff has come a long way and continues to plan for the future. But none of this would have been possible without you. As the United Soybean Board completes its second decade, leaders want to say thank you to America's soybean farmers for their productivity, which funds the checkoff. And also for their support of market-building efforts the Board undertakes on behalf of all U.S. soybean farmers. Also, a special word of thanks to the hundreds of U.S. farmers who have volunteered their time to serve on the state and national soybean checkoff boards. There are farmer leaders in the beginning and it continues today that devote an enormous amount of time for very little compensation other than the satisfaction of knowing that they're trying their best on behalf of their fellow farmer to make it a little better for everyone. From, from a soybean farmer, not chairman of the USB, but a soybean farmer, Thanks for your dedication, uh, your willingness to uh, devote your time and efforts, and uh, you know, just just a big thank you. Is you probably don't get that often enough. For Beyond the Bean on Air, I'm Laura Schaefer. That's all for now. From all of us at Beyond the Bean on Air, thank you and congratulations on 20 years of smart investing in the U.S. soy industry through the checkoff. Happy holidays and best wishes for 2012. We'll see you then.